What is going on to you, Leo? So you have the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, Knight of Swords, Seven, excuse me, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords in this deck looks so similar. Uh, Four of Pentacles, Chariot, excuse me, the Strength. I want to memorize these. The Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Sorry about that. So... For you, Leos, what I'm seeing here is that the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, obviously, you, Leos, are pretty much steering your own ship. You make decisions as to what it is that you want in your life. Obviously, you don't want to be treated like trash, obviously. So a lot of you, Leos, are not allowing yourselves to be treated like trash. You will approach people, talk to them whenever it is that you want to. You're not gonna you're not gonna you're not going to feel pressured by anything that you see online, which makes up the bulk of a lot of the delusions, especially nowadays. It's it's what it is that we see online and what people gossip to each other. But a lot of you Leos are not feeling pressured right now. A lot of you Leos actually feel quite um, liberated from having to constantly chase. If you don't want to chase, you Leos are just not going to chase. And the Queen of Pentacles represents, and this gives you Leos enough time, enough free space for you Leos to actually start living your life a little bit more, right? Think about some of the things that you do well in relationships. What are some of the things that you do well? Your intelligence. You know, you're, you're specifically... And an, an element of that, your book smarts, your ability to grow, you know, to learn. Um, obviously, a little bit combative, <laughs> you know what I mean? A little bit combative, but a relationship needs that combativeness a little bit sometimes to kind of let the other person know that the two of you are not the same person. And that the two of you are not going to exactly see eye to eye on something. You're right. You would see eye to eye on something more than likely if you were the same person. But relationships need that healthy, that healthy bit of combativeness back and forth to actually keep the relationship healthy. Because it's when the relationship has no type of disagreements is when one should really worry about that. So the Tower and the Knight of Swords is about how, well, since this is the case... This is this got a lot of people kind of confused. This has a lot of people puzzled and kind of upset. Like, why, you know, especially, especially your friends. Why is it that you're not dating, right? And, it, you know, other people too, as far as, you know, people see you in the street and like, you know, y'all know people see you in the street, how it is that you look. And sometimes you'll have people who are, who look, at you too but you won't necessarily go up to them and say anything T to be honest with you part of it is really because of the lack of effort that that a lot of people put in relationships you know the idea that one that one side should really do everything and that the other side shouldn't do that that they don't think that they should do anything but that's part of the reason why a lot of you leos have essentially taken this vacation you know, you are not so pressed. You're not so caught up in trying to go up and talk to people. The way that you've changed, the way that you approach and get approached is completely different than the way you used to. Because Leo is a zodiac sign in the past. This is why it is I say that zodiac signs and the people change. Because Leo was traditionally known when I was learning to row back in 2012 and learning about the zodiac signs back in uh, 2012, that Leo was a kind of a zodiac sign that would smother you, you know, give you all these extravagant gifts, smother you, but you Leos are not doing that. A lot of you Leos are very much so kind of semi-vacated -vac in the sense of, you know, it's not that you're actually done dating. It's just that what it is is, you Leos want to you want to decide for yourselves 
without anyone else's pressure or even without anyone else's giving you any kind of choosing signals because all of that choosing signal type stuff is is trash because a person can act like they like you and then switch up on you later so it essentially it means nothing so the tower and the knight of swords now represents so as a result of this this is more so about how a lot of you happen to be in a in a situation where um and you freed you leos have freed yourselves up from just being uh constantly having to like a revolving door talk to people and it not work out now more a lot of you leos are able to look at it and be like um i'm i'm willing to kind of let it go i'm willing to kind of let that person walk out of my life which raises your value even more because that's a part of the games too. That's a part of approaching too. Are you able to allow people to walk out of your life? Because, not because you're not taking the opportunity when it, when it jumps, right? Or when it, or when it falls into your lap, but are you becoming more elaborate or more selective, right? Because being selective is, an, is a skill. <laughs> You know, and then you have the five of swords. The five of swords now represents as a result of this. And this is what the time is going to save. It's going to save you a lot more difficulties with people being in relationships with them or trying to get to know them. Because so many people like to put their best foot forward or what they think is their best foot forward. But now today, especially, you can pretty much find out and tell if someone has some serious issues that you need to uh, avoid and vo avoid them completely. You know, so the Four of Pentacles represents a lot of you Leos at this current point in time, just going over some of the things that you were doing wrong. You should have paid more attention. A lot of you Leos are reflecting about how you should have paid more attention this way and that way. And that when you furthermore in the future, when you still continue to get to know other people, you won't have such a difficult time because it's not going to be you. Something goes over your head or you completely ignore something. And then now all of a sudden you act like it's not really there. And then you get into something where you get to know somebody and then they completely switch up. And then you're surprised because now it's like, whoa, you didn't see it coming. So no. So for you, Leo's, it's a sense of no more ignoring if. If, no more ignoring, if a person has red flags. And then you have the strength card. The strength card now is about, it represents Leos. So you showed up in your own reading. But it's about learning how to tame your own ego to not allow that to get in your way. Because let's face it, a lot of us, we've all done this before. We've all, without exception, we've all liked someone so much to the point where we're willing to overlook obvious issues that some of these people have and that if we were to get into a relationship if we were to continue to get to know them it would get worse we've all ignored that and end up getting heartbreak because of that but a lot of you leos are really learning to simmer you know simmer down simmer down that ego you know to really go into a situation with both eyes open yeah you may think a person is attractive. You may think that they, they look good and all this other type of stuff. But at the same time, it's also about you, Leo's, really realizing is these people that you're getting to know who you really want. So it's about being more selective. It's about looking at the things that they do well or the things that you like versus reviewing it, right? Going back, thinking about the conversations that you've had, thinking about is there any kind of, of, of problems or future heartbreak that you can avoid by avoiding these people. So it makes you smart it makes you more wise when it comes to selecting or or approaching and getting to know people, allowing people to be in your life long term. And the strength card represents here, this also will help you out because this will help you understand not only yourself, but other people better. Because part of the reason, this is, this is getting into another layer. Part of the reason why it is that people have such a lack of success when it comes to relationships 
right? And when it comes to, to selecting people is because we do not have a very, a, a very good ability to vet people, to make sure that people are not running games on us. So to seven, so the seven of pentacles and the nine of cups now is about, well, since this is the case, a lot of you Leos understand that um, uh, this is good for you because you're becoming better overall. You, you're having a better ability to, to choose because choosing, see, this is the thing. Choosing is not about you immediately walk up to somebody, you talk to them, you have one day and then they wild out on you. And then it's like, oh, you should have known this type of stuff. It's like, listen, you just known this person and you wanted to know if those red flags that you saw were real, cut you some slack. No, choosing somebody is when over a certain period of time, you put all this effort, time and energy and attention into them. They're still giving you issues. They've done, they haven't developed at all. And then now you are sitting up there, but then you won't leave the person. So let's clarify some of these cards. A lot of you Leos, are wiser than that now because a lot of you Leos understand that you it's it's not about you liking the person. You could like the person and not be with them based upon who they are, their values. So to clarify so let's clarify the seven of pentacles. So so to clarify, excuse me, the seven of pentacles, we have the emperor, the six of pentacles, the world, and then we have the three of pentacles, right? A person, uh, if a person seems bossy, if a person is a bossy person, if a person calls themselves a boss, if a person, you know, seems to have, you know, poor uh, partnership quality skills where they don't know how to get along with you, they're, they're super, they're super argumentative as you're getting to know them. The six of pentacles, the world, if, if you and this person uh, don't necessarily see eye to eye where you have to talk to these people or the person automatically is rubbing you the wrong way immediately because they have these strong sweeping perspectives and, they do, and they're not very sure about what it is that they're talking about. The three of pentacles, those are red flags that, and that let you know you shouldn't be with these people. And the seven, excuse me, the uh, three of pentacles represents you should leave them alone. 